It's the Banana Splits Show! <laughs> it's Snorky! It's legal! Bingo! And the Rooper! Knock, knock! Who's there? Banana! Banana who? Knock, knock! Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Snorky, which month never stands still? March. <laughs> Hey, Trooper, what did the mother bee tell her naughty children? I have no idea. Beehive yourself! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Turn it. Turn it, who? Turn up the music and let's dance! <laughs> Maybe I should sit down. This could take a while. The secret word is pillow. Hiya, Snork. What did the banana do when it saw the ice cream? It split. <laughs> Wait till you hear this one, banana bug. Which drink always comes to the rescue? Lemon aid. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bingo, which animal talks all the time? A yakety yak. <laughs> hey, Drooper, you don't by chance know the secret word, do you? I think it's... What? What? I still can't hear you. What did you say? I said, I think the secret word is pillow. <laughs> We got a secret. Wow. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, it's from the record company. What do you think they want? It's written in code. We need the secret code wheel. <laughs> Set it on red, same color as the paper. First, it's a rectangle. A globe. <laughs> Snorky says that might also be the world. Uh, what's next? Exclamation point. Well, that looks like peas. <laughs> Yummy, pass the peas. Say please. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Droop, maybe the record company wants you to write a song about vegetables. So the secret message is Globe Vegetables. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? World Vegetables? World Peas. World Peas. World Peace! I love it! A song about world peace. Nothing better to sing about than everyone everywhere becoming banana buds. Fan banana tastic. Uh, hey Droop, can you still write a song about vegetables later? Maybe carrots, or celery, cucumbers maybe, or uh, how about them? Um... I'll get it. <laughs> oh, it's from the record company. I bet it's written in secret code. This should tell us, Snorky. Would you please get the? Secret code wheel? Hmm. Come on, Snork. Set the wheel on blue. First shape is a square. 
That's a bunch of grapes. Delish! Next is a heart. And you gotta have heart, right, Blake? Right. Hmm, that's a desk. Great desk. The last two shapes are the same. Ovals. Or eggs. Delicious, nutritious eggs. What? Snorky and I were heading out to breakfast when the mysterious messenger knocked. Uh, bingo. It's a bat and a ball. Snorky thinks that's a hit. So two in a row would mean hits. And if we put all the words together... Grape... Desk... Hits... Grape, grape desk, desk hits. hits. Grape... Desk... desk hits. hits. Greatest Hits. The record company wants to release a Greatest Hits CD. You know, one with all our favorite songs. What a grape idea. Grape juice. Great jam, great jelly, oh, great. Mm, mm. Look, it's a note from the record company. What do you think they want? It's written in code. We need the secret code wheel, Snark. Set it on red, same color as the paper. The first shape is a hexagon. Looks like a hole. A hole what? A hole hole. Next, a circle. That is a bathtub. Hole? Hmm. Tub? Oh, oh, oh! Hole? Tub? Uh... Um, and last but not least, a star. Isn't that our tour bus? The uh, whole tub bus. Whole tub bus. Hmm, let's see. How the God! It's no secret, those splits are bananas! We got a secret. I'll get it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, it's from the record company. I bet it's written in secret code. Which is why we have the secret code wheel. Get the code wheel, Snark. Set it on red, same color as the paper. A check mark. You're right, Snork. That's definitely a key. I'm pretty sure anything with five sides is called a pentagon. A pan. Actually, Flea, I think it's a pot. Hey, there are two triangles on there. Banana. Key. Pot. Banana! Key. Pot. Banana. Since there were two triangles in a row, maybe they meant two bananas. Key. Pot. Bananas. Key. Pot. Bananas. Key. Pot. Bananas. Key. Pot. Bananas. Keep the bananas. As in the banana splits. High five, everybody. Could change the name, but they'll always be bananas. And now it's time for Dear Drooper. Dear Drooper, what steps should I take if there's a monster in my closet? Really, really long. <laughs> Dear Drooper, when I go to bed at night, I snore so loudly I wake myself up. 
What should I do? Try sleeping in another room. <laughs> Let's read one more. Dear Drooper, my mom must have eyes in the back of her head. She sees everything. What should I do? Buy her a second pair of sunglasses. <laughs> hey, Flegel, I think the mail's here. I'm on it. Wow, that's a lot of email. Better read one of them. <sighs> Dear Bananas, when my friends and I went to a concert the other night, it sounded like Drooper had a frog in his throat. We think the frog should put out his own CD. This guy will sing till he croak. Hey, Flagle, will you please check the mail? You got it. Try that again. Another chain letter. <laughs> That's what I call a chain reaction. And now it's time for Dear Drooper. Oh, bingo! You rang for the ring of ten? Did I receive any email today? I'm sure you did. Let me just check out our website. Shut up! Dear Trooper, my cat just had kittens, but they all look alike. How can I tell one kitten from another? <laughs> oh, oh, I know, I know. Pick me, pick me. Bingo? If you want to tell one kitten from another, just look them up in a catalog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we have time for one more. Mm. Dear Drooper, why don't trees ever walk away? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 let me answer. Let me. Bingo. They don't like to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for Dear Drooper. Hey, Droop, did you know that today is Animal Appreciation Day? Yes, I did, Bingo. Which is why all of the emails today have been written by club members with pets. Dear Drupler, my parents got me a dog named Fido. I'm trying to teach him to stay, but he chases after anyone riding a bicycle. What should I do? That's easy. Take away Fido's bike. No more chasing. Next email. Dear Drupler, I found a worm in the mud and want to keep it as a pet. But how can I tell which end is which? Hmm. Uh, I, I know. Try tickling your worm in the middle and see which end lasts. 
good answer, Bingo. <laughs> Dear Drooper, I want to get a black cat, but I've heard they bring bad luck. Is that true? It's only true if you're a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for Dear Drooper. Okay, let's see whom I can help today. Well, here's one from Animal Lover. Dear Drooper, my family is going on an African safari. Can you tell me how to stop a rhino from charging? That's easy, Annie. Just take away the rhino's credit card. Now that's funny. Unless you're a rhinoceros, of course. Hey, Snorkster. You know how to make a rhino float? Two scoops of ice cream, a little soda, and one willing rhino. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Drooper, I have to tell a joke in front of my whole class, but I don't feel funny. What should I do? Just before you tell the joke, put some banana pudding in your shoe. Trust me, when you're standing in front of everyone, you'll feel funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Flagle, will you check the mail, please? I'm on a droop. Study, study. <laughs> Looks like Flegel was blown away by the fan mail. Hey, Flegel, will you please check the mail? I'm on it. like to do first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. Read the moose paper. <laughs> hey, Snore, where does a cat keep her clothes? In a closet. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Koala. Koala who? Koala tea jokes like these are hard to come by. <laughs> Meeting of the banana splits is officially called to order. I'll have a medium pizza, half marshmallow, half pepperoni. What? Flegel said he was calling to order. I think he meant the meeting was about to begin. Oh, so no pepperoni. First up, we need to. <laughs> Sir, we need to talk about. <laughs> Snarky, are you all right? <laughs> He has the hiccups. Hold your breath, Snark. <laughs> that never works. You have to hold your breath and hop on one leg. <laughs> Who told you that's the cure, Snork? You need to... Move! Try standing on your head. <laughs> Oh, take some water. How you feeling, Snork? Cured. <laughs> 